Hi everyone and welcome to my new channel. Uh, this is something that I've been planning for a while and I'm excited to get this started. I'm still going to keep my other channel, Loppy Loves, uh, but that will be focused more on my life in Iceland and life updates and things like that. And this channel, Loppy Loves Eco, clearly from the name, will be focused more on eco-friendly living. So to get things started for my first video, I wanted to do a video about free zero waste swaps that you can start today at home. A lot of people seem to attribute a zero waste lifestyle to an expensive, unaffordable lifestyle and it doesn't need to be. I still use a lot of these free or low cost zero waste swaps. I do sometimes spend money for more expensive options but only if I feel it's really worth it. So let's get started. So the first zero waste swap is just to buy less. You probably have enough anyway. <laughs> if you're not spending any money, you're not bringing anything into your home that you don't need. And that one's simple. The second swap is Tupperware, or just food containers. You probably don't need to buy any new. You probably already have things at home that you could reuse. Um, you can use glass jars that food comes in. Glass jars can be frozen, you just have to be careful about it. Or you can use other things that your food comes in. Uh, my, my, my personal favourite containers are peanut butter containers and ice cream containers. These are the ones that I use the most and these are products that I buy anyway. And this peanut butter actually tells you ways to reuse the container, which I thought was great. The next thing that you might not know about is you can actually use a search engine to help save the planet. There are two search engines that I normally use. The first one is called EveryClick and I started using this when I was maybe 15 or 16. I forgot about it for a long time but I've recently started using it again. And EveryClick donates a certain amount of money, it's like a fraction of a penny, for every search to a charity of your choice. When I was a teenager I used to donate to the Marine Conservation Society and now as an adult I donate to Sea Shepherd UK which is my favourite charity. But you could donate to any charity you want uh, and you can focus on environmental charities if that's what you wanted. And the other search engine is Ecosia. And in my opinion this is a better search engine, it's closer to Google than every click is. So you get better results. And I'm not sure what the amount is but for every so many clicks Ecosia plants a tree. So you can actually help plant trees just by using a search engine and it's free. Uh, the next thing is just use your food. You can eat your leftovers, use your food scraps. If you're someone that uses a lot of chilli sauce, like me, particularly sriracha, at the end of the bottle you normally have a little tiny amount of sauce that you can't really use, so you normally throw it away. What you can, well, what you can actually do is add some plain vegetable oil, or just a neutral flavoured oil, to the bottle give it a shake and you have free chilli oil and it uses the rest of what's left in the bottle and this chilli oil is great on pasta or pizza. You can use your leftover vegetables and meat in many meals and uh, just off the top of my head you can use it in omelette, egg fried rice, gratin, pizza, pasta sauce, couscous, there's so many meals that you can use your leftover meats and vegetables in. So just finish them and that saves you money as well because you're not wasting the food that you already have. If you have any old blankets or dressing gowns made out of a sort of plush microfiber material, such as this one, you probably can't see it very well but it's just plush, very soft fluffy cosy material, you can use this as a makeup remover. I'm not sure if it would stain so you might not want to do this on one that you want to use, unless you don't care if it's stained. But if you have a, an old blanket or an old dressing gown that you're going to throw away or you don't care about anyway, you could chop it up, sew it and turn it into reusable makeup removing wipes. I actually have this one that I've had for nearly two years. Uh, this wasn't a blanket, I bought this. And it's fine, it's not stained or anything. Uh, and it's the best makeup remover I've ever used. It's better than makeup removing wipes. And you only use water with it. You don't use makeup remover, it's amazing and it gets rid of everything. So if you wear a lot of makeup you could use some plush microfiber material that you might already have in your home as makeup remover 
and you never need to buy makeup remover again. The next thing is using your old clothes to make things that you need. You could make reusable produce bags, you could make reusable tote bags, you could make reusable makeup wipes, or you can make hankies, which I have a large collection of. And make sure you use cotton material for this. I tend to collect cotton shirts and I wear them to death. And when they can't be used anymore, I chop them up and turn them into hankies. And I use these to blow my nose if I need a tissue. Uh, and also I use them as glasses cleaners. They're great to have around. I always have them with me. Or you can also make reusable gift bags. And these are fantastic. I use these for the Christmas just gone. And they're really good. It's just a simple drawstring bag. It's lined with some ribbon. You put the gift in pull it closed and tie it into a bow and they look really pretty and they can be used year after year and they can be used for different occasions you can use them for Christmas and birthdays and yeah they can just be used endlessly until they wear out uh, because wrapping paper if you didn't know can't be recycled so stop using wrapping paper and use these instead you can just walk more I think some people rely on their cars too much, especially in Iceland. If you're doing a short trip, consider walking there instead. It will take a little bit longer, but it's better for you and it's better for the planet. Refuse single-use plastic. Say no if you get a takeaway and they offer you single-use cutlery. Say no. Say you don't want a plastic straw. Say you don't want a plastic bag at the supermarket. You can take your own. If you're planning to get a takeaway, just take your own cutlery from home. You can just take it out of your kitchen drawer, take it out with you, and you have cutlery. You maybe don't need a straw. You might not need a grocery bag if you're only taking a few things, or maybe you can take your own bag. And actually, in Selfos, before COVID, we had a system in the supermarkets called Boomerang Bags, which I believe is an international initiative. I don't think it's just in Iceland. Um, it's paused temporarily because of Covid but I'm sure it'll be back after. And near the checkouts they actually have a basket full of these bags uh, which volunteers have sewn from donated fabric I believe. And you can just take this and put your groceries in this, it's free, you just borrow in the bag. And then the next time you go to the shop just bring it back and leave it in the basket again for someone else to use. And it's a really good initiative. The next thing is finish what you already have. You already have loads of toiletries, loads of food, loads of clothes, loads of stationery you don't need any more notebooks. I'm sure many people have a whole hoard of toiletries that they've been gifted or they've just stocked up when it's on offer. Use those first. When you're down to your last bottle of shower gel, maybe then you can buy the eco-friendly version like a soap bar or just refill the bottle at a refill station if you have that near you. But just finish what you already have. I've recently been trying to clear out my apartment. The amount of pens I have is insane. I don't need to buy pens probably for the next 10 years. It's crazy. This next one isn't for everyone. I haven't personally done it, but I do know people who have. Uh, dumpster diving. Maybe this isn't recommended during COVID times, but when this is finished, maybe you can try it. Dumpster diving, if you didn't know what it is, is when you go to the bins of companies and you rescue things such as wasted food, which is still okay to eat. I haven't actually dumpster dived myself, but I have eaten dumpster dived food and it is fine. Um, you can also save things like electronics, cosmetics, but just be careful with what you're saving. Use your senses and just take caution. Also, dumpster diving is not legal everywhere, so just check what the laws are and try to stay on the good side of the law, if you want to. <laughs> this next one is so simple, but I think people are nervous sometimes to ask. Borrow things. If you need something that you're probably going to use once or twice, just ask someone if you can borrow theirs. It's, it's free, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind you borrowing their stuff. As long as you return it to them, in a good condition and you don't keep it forever, it's probably fine. I currently have a sewing machine that I need to give back soon. I've had it for a couple of months. 
that a very good friend has lent me and I used it to make those reusable Christmas bags and it's great. Just borrow something that you need. This next one, look for free things on the Facebook marketplace or on Gumtree or Craigslist or whatever you have in your area. Some people might be giving away toiletries, soap, things that they didn't want that they received as gifts that you can use and save from landfill. Some people might even have things that can be used in a zero waste lifestyle that they didn't get on with that you can try for free. Just have a look. Uh, this next one might be a bit controversial but free promotional items. When I was growing up I had so many free cotton bags from just events and companies and just free things. Use them. If you don't need them it's best to refuse them but if you're just starting out and you don't have these things some companies give out cotton tote bags, some companies even give out reusable coffee cups which is great, uh, water bottles, Actually, when I was about 13, my mum went to university and they were giving out free bottles of water in those glass flip-top bottles. My mum kept it and reused that. It's a good idea. Uh, and some companies now, in Covid times, are actually giving out free masks, reusable masks. So it's a good way to get hold of one. If you were going to buy something from that company anyway, or if you're an event for that company, take it if you need it, but if you don't, refuse it. Food sharing. This kind of goes on from the food waste, but if you have too much food, share it with someone who needs it or who wants it or who will just use it. We want to send as little food to landfill as possible. So if you have something you're not going to eat, give it to someone who will. Or if someone else has something that they don't want to eat, maybe you want to eat it and it's free for you. Uh, there are food sharing apps, my favourite one is Olio, it hasn't taken off here in Iceland yet but I'm hoping in the next few years that will start to be used more. This next one is very simple and you are technically paying for it but it's just with your household energy bills. Drink tap water, you don't need to buy any drinks, you can just use the tap water that you have at home, fill up a water bottle, take it with you, you're saving money that way. Reuse packaging as bin liners. One of the things that blew my mind when I moved to Iceland was instead of using those big refuse sacks like we use in the UK, the bins, they just use little supermarket carrier bags and they just fill up a little carrier bag full of rubbish, throw it away and put another carrier bag in, which I think is great. Now what I tend to do, I do still have some carrier bags that I, I do use as rubbish bags, but I tend to save up the plastic bags that toilet paper comes in and I use that as a bin liner or for my plastic recycling bin liner and I also use cereal boxes as the bin liner for my paper recycling just to reuse what you already have it's going to be thrown away anyway so you might as well use it for something first ask for zero waste items as gifts if you have a birthday coming up or Christmas or whichever holiday you celebrate that you can receive gifts at ask for the zero waste items on your wish list things that you need things that you want but they should be useful <laughs> ask for them as gifts your friends and family want to buy you something anyway probably might as well be something you need and the final maybe most important thing vote use your vote for good when i was younger i thought maybe it'd be best not to vote because i don't really agree with how governments work in modern society but if you don't vote, that's potentially another vote for the party that's going to do the worst thing for the planet. So use your vote and use it for the parties that are going to do the best thing for the environment. Okay, so that was it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you'd like me to talk about on this channel. Also give me feedback on the other channel and subscribe there if you haven't already. I have a funny story before I leave this video. <laughs> Like I said, I've been planning this channel for a while and I was planning to film this video today because I have some free time. My boyfriend's at a training camp for the weekend, so this is the time that I have by myself so I can film this. Uh, but yesterday, I went to Reykjavik for a last minute appointment. It wasn't planned, very last minute. Uh, I haven't been to Reykjavik in months and I wasn't really planning to do any shopping while I was there. So I did take a bag with me, but like I said, I wasn't planning to do, go shopping. I 
found out that the Vietnamese supermarket has opened a new supermarket right in the centre of Reykjavik and I like going there because there's lots of unusual speciality food that I can't get in Selfos so I decided to go and stock up. Uh, I didn't have a bag big enough for what I bought so they gave me two plastic carrier bags at the shop and I was annoyed at myself that I found myself caught out without a reusable bag that I can use but accepted the plastic bags because I was buying these things. A few minutes later when I was walking down Ustastraiti <laughs> I walked into a group of teenage environmentalists who were going to a protest and I've since found out that they were going to the school strikes for the climate that Greta Thunberg started and they go every Friday um, and I walked past them they saw the plastic bags and they started protesting in front of me and I mean they didn't surround me and they weren't like chanting anything but they started like holding up some of their signs and looking at me and yeah can't believe that happened <laughs> the one time I have plastic bags so that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it uh, please give me feedback on what you'd like to see and stay rebellious for the planet